President Joe Biden won the Michigan election in 2020 in large part because 2.5 million citizens, a record, and they were mostly Democrats, they voted by mail. At this stage, at that time, one million of those voters had already returned their ballots. But this year, the number is lower. And what does that mean? In fact, 2.1 million ballots were requested this year, not 2.5. And so far, only 800,000 have been returned, which is about 200,000 fewer than in 2020. So does that mean the enthusiasm for candidate Harris is not the same as it was for Mr. Biden? Veteran Michigan pollster Bernie Porn is monitoring these numbers, and he contends the drop-off is due to one factor, a five-letter word, C-O-V-I-D. The number of people voting by absentee in the past uh, is, is really based on the fact that uh, uh, people, voters, especially Democrats back then, were very fearful of COVID. And so there was an inflated number of people in 2020. So what are the implications for the Harris campaign? So if you're in the Harris camp, you are not pushing the panic, panic button based on these absentee numbers. No, I would. Uh, uh, I'm assuming that they're doing all of the groundwork to know uh, who is uh, voting and who hasn't. However, over in the Donald Trump camp, there are concerns about the number of Republicans who are not voting absentee. Remember, back in 2022, Mr. Trump lectured his supporters they should not vote by mail because of alleged fraud in the system. However, only recently, the Republicans have changed their tune. Now, worried about losing the election, they have advised their supporters it's, quote, safe and secure to vote by mail. But still, 15% of Trump voters don't trust the mail-in system. They may still have a bad taste in their mouth about participating by absentee ballot because Trump has said so much uh, uh, negative about uh, uh, these uh, mail-in ballots. And in this razor-thin race where every vote is critical, one could argue that the absentee vote or lack of same could be a deciding factor in the outcome. In Lansing, Tim Skubik, Fox 2 News.